I've mentioned this muscle, the transverse abdominis muscle. I'm going to refer to it in this video as your TA muscle because transverse abdominis is just bleh, a lot of words to say, right? So your transverse abdominis muscle is underneath that rectus abdominis or your six pack muscle that gets all the publicity. You've got your obliques, you know you're doing your side planks, working your obliques, everybody knows about those. This muscle is even below that. And it's crazy that it really doesn't get any publicity because it really is so important. It's actually like the corset that holds everything in your belly in place. So if this muscle isn't strong, you might have back pain, you might have incontinence, pelvic floor weakness, and most importantly, to a lot of people, you might not be able to get rid of that bottom belly flab that you've been trying to get rid of. And it might all have to do with your transverse abdominis not being strong enough and holding everything in. Because for those of you that have had babies for nine plus months, you've been growing, 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 and this has been getting stretched, stretched, stretched. After baby, it goes back, but it does need to be strengthened up to get nice and tight and do its job effectively again. So let me just talk about the anatomy of this muscle. So you have your spine. This muscle connects to your spine and it comes around and hugs you. And it's two different muscles and so it doesn't connect. And so when everyone thinks about diastasis rectus abdominis or, you know, your DRA or this is getting a lot of publicity right now. It's that muscle right down the middle, or that space down the middle, basically when these two muscles aren't keeping tension with each other, that's when we see that separation. So related, but a lot of different functions besides just that diastasis recti. So you've got that muscle that comes around, but how do you feel it if it's under all those layers? Let me tell you. So what I want you to do, put your hands on your hips, like high hips so you feel your pelvis bones. You should look like a sassy teenager at this point with some serious attitude. Start on the sides and make your way in until you basically fall off of your hip bones or pelvic bones. So you're coming around, you're coming around, you're on it, and all of a sudden you're like, oh, there's nothing nothing in the middle there, right? Okay, that's the spot. That last point on the bone is called your ASIS. You have one on each side. Stands for something long, you probably don't care, so we're just going to call it ASIS for this video. I think it's most helpful when you're just trying to find your TA muscle to lie down. So find a comfortable spot on your bed, on a couch, yoga mat, something like that. And that's when find the ASIS bone. And because all your other muscles are kind of quiet when you're laying down. So hopefully it'll be a little bit easier to find your TA muscle. From that ASIS bone, you want to go in about one inch towards your belly button. Then you want to go about down about one inch down towards your uh, toes. So you're there, press in about just gently like a half inch, an inch, kind of depends how many layers of tissue you have there. But the, this TA muscle is kind of like saran wrap. So when it's not engaged, it's just loose, you can push, in, push into it. But as we're, I'm gonna show you some ways to contract that muscle, it should feel like that saran wrap is just tightening ever so slightly. So when you poke it, it's not gonna, you know, not going to go down, it's going to bounce back just a little bit. That's what your TA muscle is supposed to do. So hopefully now you're in, your fingers are in the right spot. Let's work on some cues to get that muscle fired up and going. So first cue, I want you to think about a string on your belly button, drawing your belly button down towards the mat or towards the bed that you're laying on. Not yanking it, not like fully as hard as it can, just gently pulling it down. And as you do that, maybe you start to feel some tension underneath your fingers. If so, you found your TA, TA muscle, congratulations. If not, it's okay, there's other ways to find it. So, if that didn't work, think about your ASI, ASIS bones coming together, like you were trying to make them touch. Think about drawing them in towards the line in the middle of your stomach. 
Anything yet? If not, I've got a few more tricks. Think about trying to fit a tight pair of pants. When you put those on, you just gently draw your belly in, right? And you're trying to get those zipped up. When you do that, most likely your transverse abdominis muscle is bringing everything in. Comment below if you found your TA muscle. I would love to know which of these cues work the best for you so that I can better help people like you find their TA muscles. If you can't find it and you're just totally frustrated, I really encourage you to get in touch with a women's health physical therapist in your area in person or maybe an online consult or a one-on-one -on -one conversation so that they can give you uh, different cues. There's lots of different ways to find your transverse abdominis. For those of you that know how to do kegels and maybe have watched my other video about doing kegels correctly, if you really draw up and in, most likely your transverse abdominis muscle is going to kick in at this point as well because that whole system works together and so likely as you're drawing up and in, your transverse mus abdominis muscles are drawing around. So that's another cue that can help people. So hopefully most of you have found your TA muscle now at this point. So now you're like, okay, cool, right? Well, it actually is pretty important. So for those of you that are getting back into working out, trying to build muscle back up, trying to reach your weight goals, that's great. But it really is important that you have your TA muscle engaged when you're squatting, when you're planking, when you're lunging, when you're even doing arm exercises. I mean, core muscles in reference to this, what I think is the most important core muscle, really are important if you're going to reach your fitness goals. So, find it, learn how to turn it, off, it on and off. You've got it in laying. Now try sitting, try it in standing, and then en engaging it during exercise. And the most important piece is once you learn how to turn this muscle on and off, use it. Use it when you're lifting baby. Use it when you're carrying the laundry basket. For you mamas that are still pregnant, use it when you're rolling over in bed to engage your core before you do that. These are things that are going to help keep you strong, whether you're pregnant or postpartum. This muscle needs to be targeted, right? I don't care about your six-pack muscle, but I do care about this muscle because it's going to make everything else in your body work so much better when you have it strong and most importantly coordinated to kick in when you're going to do activities. So let's go ahead and walk through first just breathing, second just pelvic floor or kegels which would be tightening and relaxing our pelvic floor. And then thirdly, tying our breath with our pelvic floor strengthening. So we're gonna start with our belly breathing. The first thing I want you to do is go ahead and take a deep breath in. As you fill your belly up completely with air, there's no room left, and then you're going to exhale and bring your belly in as you squeeze all the air out of your belly. Then you're going to go ahead and take another inhale in, fill your belly up with air, fill your lungs up with air, feel your ribs expanding as much as you can possibly fit, and go ahead and exhale and get all the air out of your belly, out of your lungs, and feel your belly get smaller. One last inhale and feel your belly expand and grow, and go ahead and exhale and release and push all the air out of your belly muscles. So that was belly breathing by itself. Let's go ahead and move on to pelvic floor strengthening or kegels on their own. So what I would like you to do is to go ahead if you are, you can do this either sitting down or laying down, sitting on an exercise ball, um, whatever. You can try different positions. Sometimes people find things easier in one position versus another. So go ahead and squeeze your pelvic floor muscles up and in together like you're stopping the flow of urine. And then go ahead and completely open up your pelvic floor muscles or your vagina and completely relax them. Go ahead and squeeze your pelvic floor and your vagina openings closed like you're stopping the passive of gas or urination. 
and go ahead and open them back up. Feel them fall down toward the chair, towards your feet, away from your heart. One last time, let's go ahead and squeeze those pelvic floor muscles together, up and in, squeeze tight, 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 and relax them, completely open up your pelvic floor muscles. So that was just working on your pelvic floor strengthening, knowing how to relax, and how to tighten or strengthen your pelvic floor muscles. The third piece of this video is about using your breath and your pelvic floor strengthening, putting them together so that you can get the very most out of your exercises. So let's go ahead, take a big breath in, inhale, feel your belly expand, feel your pelvic floor muscles open. And then go ahead and exhale, blow the air out of your belly and squeeze your pelvic floor muscles up and in, close really tight, nothing's getting through. Take a big breath in, open up your pelvic floor muscles, feel your belly expand. Go ahead and blow out all the air out of your belly, out of your lungs and squeeze your pelvic floor muscles up and in. Take one last big breath in, open up your belly, let it fill with air, open up your pelvic floor muscles, feel them move away from your body and go ahead and blow the air back out of your belly and squeeze your pelvic floor muscles up and in. Come into a hands and knees position. Exhale, tighten stomach muscles, lift knees one to two inches off the ground. Inhale, relax belly muscles. Exhale, draw in pelvic floor and stomach muscles. Inhale, relax pelvic floor and stomach. Exhale, tighten and lift. Inhale, relax belly and pelvic floor muscles. From a hands and knees position, you want to prepare to extend and draw in your leg by first exhaling and drawing in your belly muscles. You can inhale and reset while your leg is drawn in Exhale, tighten, and extend. While you are inhaling, you want to think about relaxing your pelvic floor muscles and your belly muscles. And when you exhale, you want to think about drawing in your belly muscles, drawing in your pelvic floor muscles, and extending your leg. Reset, inhale. Exhale, tighten pelvic floor and belly, extend leg. You want to go ahead and do the exercise on both legs, taking as much time as you need to reset between each extension. You want to start in a seated position with legs extended and arms under you for support. As you go to lift, you want to exhale, draw in your pelvic floor muscles and lift. Maintain that pelvic floor squeeze and abdominal tightening as you move your legs side to side. Come back down and relax. Exhale, tighten, move leg out to the side, move other leg out to the side. Come back down, inhale and reset. This exercise can be done while laying on your back. Be sure to stop the exercise if you feel any lightheaded or dizziness. You're going to exhale, draw your belly muscles in as you gently pull on the resistance band. Inhale and relax belly and pelvic floor. Exhale, tighten pelvic floor, draw in belly and pull down. Inhale, relax bands, belly and pelvic floor muscles. Your belly muscles should always be drawing in, never bulging out during this exercise. I would love to have you subscribe to my channel if you enjoy getting information about pregnancy and improving the postpartum experience. And I'd like a big thumbs up on this video if you liked what you saw today and you want more just like it. Thank you all for joining me today. I love seeing you every week and I can't wait to see you again next week.